Hello. This is the sixth tutorial in our OLED programming series. In this video, we will see how to plot a rolling graph on an OLED display. As always, for this tutorial, we will use a 0.96 inch OLED display and Arduino. This is a simple circuit diagram. Now, let's start from the basics. 0.96 inch OLED has 128 by 64 pixels, an SSD 1306 controller. It has one special feature, it can roll the display content from left to right and right to left. Because of this, we need to plot only one point on the rightmost pixel column, and then that point is rolled by the display controller SSD 1306 from right to left without using the main controller, which is Arduino. This feature of the display is very useful for plotting the rolling graph. In the OLED display, we can set 8 levels of speed. From 0 to 7. We want to draw a rolling sine wave on display. First, we will plot a single pixel on the rightmost pixel column. Then this pixel column will be shifted left by the display controller. Then we need to plot the next point on the same rightmost pixel column. But for that, we need to know how much time it takes to shift by one pixel. Once all pixels on the screen are shifted by one pixel to the left, we need to put the next pixel in the rightmost pixel column. In this way, we can program the main controller to display a rolling signal on display. Now, we want to measure the time required for a pixel to shift by a single pixel. Let's see how to measure it. After uploading this code, we will see a single pixel is traveling from right to left, and we want to calculate the time interval between pixel shifting to the adjacent column. To calculate this, we will measure the time required for the single pixel to travel the whole display from right to left. Then, we will get time taken by single pixel to travel 128 columns or pixels. By dividing this time by 128, we will get the time required for a single pixel to travel left by one pixel. To measure the accurate time required for a single pixel to travel the whole width, we will measure the time required for the single pixel to travel the whole width 10 times and then divide that time by 10 to get the time for single width travel with less error. Now, let's set the speed to maximum. Put rolling speed as 7. Measure the time required for a single point to complete 10 rounds of the full display using our mobile stopwatch. It took 23 seconds to complete 10 rounds. Divide it by 10 to get time required to travel the full display once. And then divide it by 128 to get the time required for a single pixel shift. This time we got is for speed equal to 7. Repeat this for all other speed settings. Here, I calculated it for all speed settings. Now, we got the time interval or sampling time between adjacent pixel shift for different speeds. In the controller code, select speed array stores the number, which are used for speed levels in the ascending order. 3 for lowest speed and 7 for highest speed. Sampling period array stores the delta T values from the table. In this sampling period array, the sampling period is not taken as it is from the table. It is adjusted to get smooth rolling plot. Timescale array has the timescale of full display width. This array is used to print the timescale on display. One of the important function we need is set pixel function, which is used for lighting a single pixel. Our rolling plot will be made from such a single pixels. Now, let us see why do we need a timer interrupt. We need to put pixel on the rightmost pixel column at specific intervals of time. This interval must be followed accurately. If a new pixel is put into the rightmost column before the previous data in that column is not shifted to left, there will be pixel overlap. Or on the other side, if a new pixel is put into the rightmost column 
after a given interval of time, there will be a blank column, and therefore, our graph will not be continuous. This mismatch in the sampling time causes the display of one more out of phase sine wave, along with the wave we want to display. To achieve this sampling time accurately, we need to use a timer interrupt. We are going to use MS Timer to interrupt. Timer 1 interrupt cannot be used when we are using I2C bus for the display. We can plot the graph of sensor data on the display. Just to keep things simple, sine wave is generated in the controller itself. In this code, count variable is used for sine wave. This variable is sampled at sampling period by a timer interrupt. Then, these sampled points are plotted using setPixel function. Let's upload the code and see the output. Great! We can see the rolling signal. We can add multiple waves by adding one more variable and calling setPixel function for that variable. Now, the display is showing two waves at a time. In this way, we can display signals on the OLED display. Please check out the link for the blog in the description below. You will get code on the GitHub. GitHub link is given in the blog.